Julia Schneider has a passion for jazz. She recently recorded her latest CD, Concert in the Garden. In the last decade, she's released three albums while signed to a record label. Each sold about 20,000, but she didn't make a penny. For this latest album, she decided to try a different approach and signed up with a company called Artist Share. They sell CDs and music downloads over the internet and turn the profit over to the artist. If she sells just one quarter as many copies as her previous discs, she'll do more than break even. I spent about $85,000, $87,000 on this recording. By the time the actual CD came out, I had raised over $30,000 for this recording. So as you can see, in just the record being out one month, I've paid for over okay, half my, my recording. Selling music over the internet is not new. But for Brian Camelio, the brains behind Artist Share, he wants people to see the service as an alternative to labels and record stores, one that markets more than just music. The only thing that's left that you can't copy or pirate is the artist's actions, their creativity, you know, their imagination. So turning that into the product actually solves the problem. Companies like Artist Share will never replace the major record companies, but according to Billboard magazine's senior business writer, they can be good for both established artists and up-and-coming talent. It's all great for younger artists and you know baby acts that do not that maybe not have a record deal at this point are looking for a record deal it's a great distribution channel for them they also can get their music out to people to interested parties musicians with artist share have to pay a fee to create the website as well as 15 percent commission other than that they receive all the revenue it's still not cheap but for artists like Maria Schneider, it might be the only way to earn a living doing the thing she loves best, making music. Michelle Fleury, BBC News, New York.